a little bit if he... Clark, step back, hits a three! And this is signature vintage, if you will. I don't know if you can be vintage at age 22, but that is the vintage Caitlin Clark. here and welcome to track and ace <laughs> some of y'all stupid man y'all was calling this a kamala curse when she was struggling at cc bro uh <laughs> y'all stupid man then people were saying when cc finally showed up in the third quarter man y'all was saying that uh uh she's a uh, republican now she's trump <laughs> so she a winner like trump y'all was crazy man oh uh, but yeah, man, so the Fever uh, lost to the Aces two times in a row here, man. Lost three out of their last four, and they are going into the playoffs not looking good, bro. Uh, two more games here. I'm pretty sure they could beat the Wings on Sunday, but uh, that missed this game on, on Thursday. I don't know what the approach is going to be. I don't know if they're going to rest players or not. I don't know what's going to be the approach in that Thursday game. Uh, I don't even know what the approach is going to be on Sunday, man. Uh, fan appreciation day for the home fans, so... I think they're going to probably... I think that this team, they don't look like they're ready to go into the playoffs. So I think they need to play. They don't really need to be resting right now because they look out of sync right now. Um, but you got to give it credit. 
Here's the thing, too, that we got to give credit to. It's not all fever the reason why they lost these games in the Lynx as well. These are just better teams that they don't really match up with. These guards are something else on the fever. I mean, I just made a video about Kelsey Plum um, needing to replace Kelsey Mitchell because I'm getting tired of this uh, uh, shooters shooting over Kelsey Mitchell short ass, man. I'm getting tired of that, bro. Like, she's such a liability on defense, man. I'm getting tired of looking at this, man. Every every game, bro. Every game, bro. These guards are cooking her, bro. And I'm just, I'm looking at this, and I'm just like, yeah, she had 19 in the first half, but what the hell did she do in the second half? You know what I mean? Um, and, and, and I think I found out, because I, I was chatting with one of my loyal uh, viewers in the chat, I mean, in the comment section, who was criticizing Clark's game right now, saying it, it doesn't look close to what it was at Iowa. And one thing that I was saying was, I think a lot of it has to do outside of the defense, because the, the Aces play Clark very well. Like Plum has been all up in uh, Plum's, I mean, um, 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 Cece's grill. This is why I want Plum on the uh, on the Fever now. You know, at least he, her or Sophie Cunningham, I'm fine with. Her or Sophie Cunningham, I'm fine with, man. Um, but. The thing that I was looking at was like, man, bro, man, that is a discrepancy for the ages right there, man. Um, Clark finally got it going in that second half, and I appreciate that for Clark that she didn't just take a zero the whole game or shot less than 10 points. She got heated up, and she does that. She does that a lot. She gets heated up in the second half. That's why Wednesday's game was so different because – she didn't even heat up in that game in the second half. Like, usually she heats up in the second half. It was just a little too late. Those free throws that we missed was really the reason why we lost. Chelsea Gray showed up. Plum showed up. And I, and I, and I said it, man. It's probably going to be Plum and Gray who are going to show up in this game. The so-called MVP. And I, she ain't my MVP. Asia Wilson ain't my damn MVP, bro. It's, uh, I, I'd rather have Nafisa Collier get it at this point. Because... These last two games, she has been absolute trash, bro. She got carried by her teammates uh, these last couple of games, bro. Absolutely got carried. 11 for 28 in that game, and then today's game was trash. She was sitting on, like, 11 points for a while. I was like, what is she doing? Like, 10 or 11 points for a while. I was like, what is Asia Wilson doing, bro? You know what I mean? Um, it's, just, it's just crazy, bro. This it, is just crazy. But uh, let me get to the donations, man, um, before we continue here. Uh, shouts out to my donators, man. Started with L Professor on the Cash App, bro. Salute to you, brother. Um, uh, cause you got the train rolling on the donations, man. Uh, he sent in thirty dollars in the last three weeks on the Cash App. Nothing new in the last couple of days, but that's okay, man. You know, uh, I'm all good here, man. You don't have to uh donate anything for a while, bro. Um. Also on the Cash App was Linda Smith. That was my second Cash App donation. A big $50 donation from Linda Smith. Shout out to you, Linda Smith. May God bless you. On PayPal, we had our first PayPal donation earlier this week. And that was a $20 PayPal from Bernadette Riley. Uh, shout out to you, Bernadette Riley. May you be blessed as well. And I got my first YouTube donation um, since I've been covering women's basketball on the channel. From R1 Grimes, $49.99, $50 don't know from him. Uh, Y'all can see his message right there. It says he's a big fan of Rachel DeBita as well, who I'm about to bring up in a couple of seconds. Uh, so I've been telling you I want this mic, man, and uh, that Rachel DeBita has in the videos. And it's a pretty expensive mic, so I'm trying to get y'all to help me get it. And I'm going to do a video for it, by the way, too, when I get that mic. But, uh, I very much appreciate he says that this 50 goes towards that mic. So what I'm going to do is when I get this money, this will definitely be put into a separate section so I can start building on that money. And we can get to, I'm going to give you all the part of when I get a chance to really see the official price for it. I'm going to give you all official price so we know how um, much further we got to go with it. So, um, but uh, shout out to you, R1 Grimes, man. So we got officially four donators. This is... So R1 Grimes right now is going to tie with Linda Smith, but technically, I'm probably going to put him second because it was $49.99 instead of the regular $50, but, you know, those are still $2, uh, $50 donos, but, yeah, man, shout out to Rachel Demita as well, man. Rachel Demita has been cooking this week, 
doing awesome more reviews. She got more views than Angel Reese's unapologetically podcast. <laughs> Uh, so shout out to Rachel the Beater, man, and shout out to my donators. Thank y'all very much for donating, man. But let's continue with the video. So, Caitlyn Clark, um, way better game from Caitlyn Clark. I actually thought she was going to lead this comeback the way she started playing, bro. So she got 18 points, um, struggled in the first half, but she had eight rebounds, ten assists, almost had another triple double. Almost had another triple double. I think. The ESPN take that assist away. Hold up, let's see. I think they, yeah, they did. Let me let me refresh this. They took the assist away. It's nine assists and eight rebounds. Actually, she got one steal. Thirty four minutes tonight from uh, Caitlin Clark. She was in some foul trouble early on. She had about three personal fouls early on, but then she ended the game with four. So she settled down. She also got her six tech. So one more guy. She's going to get suspended. Very worried about Caitlin Clark right now. She might need to go on ahead. And uh, whatever game it is, she really needs to take that suspension and that miss this game, man. Because if she gets any text from here, she's going to get suspended the very next game. So if this happens in the playoffs, bro, we're going to be without Caitlin Clark for a game. And it's a three-game series in the first round, bro. We are going to be without Caitlin Clark for a game in the playoffs if she loses her temper again. This is a scary situation right now for Clark. I need Clark, Clark to maybe just get a, a technical on purpose on Sunday and just be out for the miss this game on Thursday, man, because I'm so scared of her hit sitting on that sixth technical foul right now. Unless she thinks she can keep a composure, but she is Italian. Yeah, we know Italians got that uh, temper like Irish people, bro, so I, I don't know about that, man. I don't, I don't know about it. I don't know about it, man. <laughs> But, yeah, uh, I mean, Clark played a much better game. You know, uh, Lexi Hall, two points, did a lot of stuff that didn't show up in the stat sheet. Uh, she had 35 quality minutes tonight. Most of that was on defense, what she was doing tonight. It was doing a lot of dirty, uh, I mean, uh, not dirty plays, but uh, hustling plays, doing the dirty work on the team. Aaliyah Boston, a uh, lot more better in this game than on Wednesday. Uh, took a questionable three at the end. Uh, we're going to talk about that in the next video, man, because, uh, yeah, we got to talk about Lexi Hall not really being able to take shots and stuff. And then, as I was telling y'all, Mitchell only one point in the second half, man. And I feel like, and I'm going to be a little bit fair to Mitchell right now, and this is why I think, Mitchell, the best thing for you to do is just walk. And it's not because I, I want you to walk. I really feel like your game is being hindered by Caitlin Clark, and Caitlin Clark's game is kind of being hindered by Kelsey Mitchell. But it's more the underway around where I feel like Kelsey Mitchell's game is now being sacrificed for Caitlin Clark right now. And this is why I think if, if Kelsey Mitchell wants to be uh, the primary scoring option, she may have to definitely go to another team that really needs her to be the primary scoring option. Um, because right now, as it stands, bro, this is not going to work between these two. It's just not because one or the other has to get the shots. We've only seen maybe a couple of times this season where both of them went off. Uh, the Dallas game was one of them from two weeks ago, but there's only been a handful of times where they both have been able to work it out, where they both scored in the same at the same time. It just hasn't worked out for them, man. And I feel like CC will do a little better with a guard that doesn't demand the ball like that. Like Kelsey Plum will actually play pretty well with CC because Kelsey Plum doesn't need to take all the shots like that. Um, she did shoot like 17 times today, I think. Yeah, she shot like 17 times. But I, I think that's because um, they really needed her more tonight than anything. Jackie Young couldn't really get it going, but it was Chelsea Gray that was really the one that stepped up tonight. Um, but Plum had to kind of step up tonight. She was 4 from 11 from the field. I mean, from the 3, uh, 6 and 17 from the field. Uh, but I do feel like um, between the two, I, th I think I'm seeing where, like, yeah, man, Mitchell, the best thing you need to do is just go ahead and walk. Um, just go ahead and walk because I don't think that this is ever going to work between these two as far as the ball distribution for the shots. And... Because I think Caitlyn would be even more aggressive if she knew she had to shoot a lot. Like, she knew there wasn't no Kelsey Mitchell to really rely on. She could go in here to shoot. This is what she did in basically in the second half. You saw her really, really stepping it up to shoot, you know, and, and did her thing. And uh, 
Quick roll call here. Smith, again, was garbage. And Alyssa Smith, is, this is just not a good fit for her. I figured it out with Alyssa Smith, too. She's not really a garbage player. She don't fit in the system at all with, with Caitlin. She's another one that got to go. She's another one that got to go because I think she'll do. I think she'll do way better elsewhere. Way better elsewhere. Dantes, eleven points. Oh my God, Dantes, man. Dantes be up and down like that, but Dantes really provided some things. Timmy once again played really good defense today. Um, man, it's just that her minutes is so inconsistent right now, man. Like, as look in the playoffs, I really believe that Timmy is going to have to start. Timmy is going to have to start in the playoffs, bro. They're going to have to make this decision with these two, man. And then for Erica Wheeler, only two points today, but uh, solid minutes. But can, can we get Grace Berger back in? You know, uh, I want to see Grace Berger. <laughs> I want to see Grace Berger, bro. Katie Lou and Chrissy Wallace didn't play today. Uh, kind of surprising she didn't use a deep part of the bench. I think Chrissy Sass was hearing some of the criticism. She just decided not to play him. Uh, but come on, man. Play Grace Berger, man. I think she could have got some run, but th th she's not the only one having problems. Another problem that I'm seeing is on the Aces right now. No K Martin in the last two games. You didn't even allow Caitlin Clark to play against K Martin in front of her fans. Like Becky Hammond, you are evil. I agree with, uh, I agree with, what's to call it, uh, CFWB guy, bro. Becky Hammond, you are evil bitch, bro, for real. I I'm not I'm not gonna say anything past that, but you you evil, bro. You you doing this on purpose? Not playing Kmart. Uh, Megan Ghost is in only three minutes. Man, come on now, come on now. Uh, Megan Ghost is in. Don't come back to Las Vegas. Go, go come here to the Fever. Come here to the Fever. Play where you want it because we could have used you. We could we could use man. We could use Megan Ghost is in right now. Another player we could use. I'm gonna tell y'all, man. There's another player. In this league that we can use, bro. Because I saw her clap in the sky tonight, too. Um, that is Xander Lassini from um, the Minnesota Lynx. She had seven points tonight. She cooked us last week. Remember how she cooked us last week from three? If we don't get Megan Gustafson, at least we need to look at Xander Lassini. We need to we need to really look at those two players, man. Because we need, like, a stretch big who can uh, shoot the three. Um... That's another thing we're missing right now. We could use that. CC can you? I could tell CC wants that on, on the on the court. Um, Dances is sort of that, but Dances is a little bit. I don't know. Dances is a little bit awkward, a little bit. But uh, I do like I do like Dances' game though. I keep I keep Dances on the team next year, man. For real. Uh, coming off the bench, we just need to add some pieces, man, on this team. But like, yeah, K Martin. Uh, K. Martin, Megan Gustafson, and make a decision between Kelsey Plum and Sophie Cunningham on this fever team uh, to replace Kelsey Mitchell. Kelsey Mitchell needs to walk. Just don't think this is ever going to be a good fit for her um, going forward. I don't care who the coach is. I just don't think it's going to fit. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got. I think that's all I got to say about this one. Let's talk about Lexi Hall in the next video, man. Go on ahead and give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, for the donation, started with the cash app. My name is Dollar Sign Tag Exchange. That's my tag name on there. If you want to donate through PayPal, the link is in the description box. You can click the link and you can donate through there. Uh, as far as Bitcoin goes, if you got some Bitcoin, you can scan the QR code on the screen right now and you can donate through Bitcoin. Uh, and also through YouTube, like I was telling y'all earlier. Uh, and also on PayPal. So on PayPal, man, you know, I've been telling y'all we're going to have these full games up and, um, we're going to be putting them up, so make sure y'all keep checking to see if I got any new games up. There will be some for free and paid for. I am going to be giving y'all a discount call. And Patreon, Patreon just featured, uh, just gave us a new feature where we can actually uh, sell our posts individually. So if you do not want to pay for the subscription, you could pay for the games individually on there. There will be a sale price, one time charge, and that's it. So if you, there's a particular game that you want to rewatch. Um, if you don't have lead pass and stuff like that, you can go on ahead and go to my Patreon and rewatch some of those games that I'm going to be posting, man. Most of the games are going to be posting in the off season, so you can come back in the off season and really rewatch some of these games. Uh, it's kind of hard while the season's going on for me to really uh, concentrate on the Patreon right now, and fill up, fill it up with content. But during the off season, I'm definitely going to be like posting the games, though. Um, 
But yeah, I think that's it. And uh, thank you for the donations, anybody who donates, man. And uh, again, y'all, thank y'all for really coming in, man. Uh, and if you can't donate, hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Tracking Ace.